everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel, Lau Sky Painter, because I actually uh, never say the name of my channel, but yeah, I'm Lau and this is my YouTube channel, Lau Sky Painter, and I'm mostly a vintage toy collector, that's what you're gonna see on this channel. I often like buy My Little Pony, Generation 1, that's my main collection, um, and other vintage toys, and I unbox them together with you here. Uh, I go out toy hunting when it's possible. Uh, I show My Little Pony Generation magazines like up close, all that stuff. And today I also want to unbox something with you. But it's not toys, but of course it is related to My Little Pony. Um, this is a package that I received from uh, a gorgeous artist, uh, she's called Premium Palmas, <laughs> um, that's her name on Instagram, and uh, I bought lots of art um, from her shop um, Anagrid Studios, which she has an Etsy shop, I will link all of that down below, um, because I really, really like her art, she does mostly My Little Pony art, and like her art style is like my favorite and I I realized I I follow her and I like all her posts and all that stuff but I you know actually you need to support uh, small artists definitely when you like them it's like oh my goodness I buy so many toys here and I haven't bought anything from her although I love her art style so much so I figured it's time this arrived so let's see um, all the stuff that I bought off of her she does not only pony art, she does lots of other animal art, she even has her own um, characters. But let, let's get into the package first before I tell you a little bit more about her. Is her card Anagrid? I guess that's her name, and uh, Anagrid Studios that's her um, Etsy shop. Ooh. Ah, so many fun things that I can see already. Okay, here's also a small note. Let's see what she wrote. Ah, okay. Uh, of course, she wrote in German because uh, she is located in Germany, but as she has like an Etsy shop, you can purchase from her like internationally, of course. Um, but that made it even like for me a little bit more easy <laughs> uh, because of course the shipping is fast and um, cheap because I'm also from Germany. So, but if you're not from Germany, you can still buy her stuff. Uh, she, she of course ships internationally. She just says, I thank you for your support. Um, for the Nachtlichtcon um, and my illustrations and she wrote something which would be a spoiler if I say it now and um, what do I mean by Nachtlichtcon? Well the truth is that she actually um, is one of the organizers of the uh, pony convention Nachtlichtcon which sadly has never happened yet because um, I came across this um, convention I don't know online I found it um, it was uh, supposed to be in 2020, in the summer of 2020 in Düsseldorf, so in Germany. It's a pony convention, more themed around uh, Generation 1 ponies, of course also other pony stuff would be there, but uh, mainly for Generation 1 collectors and fans. And I was so like thrilled, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, and then you know, the world crashed down and pandemic happened, etc. And so it was um, postponed to 2020, to 2021 and now it is postponed to 2022 because here in Germany we're not that like far with uh, like vaccination etc it's very slow progressing here so it doesn't make sense to plan cons probably wouldn't happen so but it will happen and one of the items uh, which I bought is also like goes into the fund of the Nachtlichtcon so um oh I didn't order this Interesting. Yeah, she said she she would uh, include some some other gimmicks. So, oh my goodness. But okay, here I can already see 
the three postcard um, like packs that I bought and I would say let's start with these because this is like the most art you can you can get I mean you can see even more oh my goodness I don't know where to start let's let's start with the with the post postcard um, books because these are only pony art um, and you can also purchase all of those postcards like separately if you just like one of them but like I love all of them so I just got the whole packages this is the summer flower um, postcard set and I think I'm gonna turn around the camera so you can see all of them better because like so gorgeous so let's start with the summer flower postcards and I guess these are all themed around like nature etc so this is already gorgeous this is the sweetheart sister pony flower burst one of my favorites oh here we've got lemon drop lemon drop with actually it's Oh, that, that, that's cute because it's uh, together with Brandy. Uh, lemon drops from the um, show stable came together with Brandy. So cute. She even looks like a, like a baby pony. I mean, she could be the baby pony, right? There is a baby lemon drop, so who knows? Oh, I already have this because it came in the um, Nachtlichtkorn bag, but like this is like one of my favorites because it's tropical pony um, Pina Colada. Oh, here's Minty. Minty's one of the early uh, collector's pose ponies. And Gusty. Oh, so cute. I love her style, like, because she, um, like, A, like, in general, how she, she draws the ponies, but I really like that she, um, everything is, it's, it's, she's not doing digital art. I mean, there, of course, there are, um, like, um, artists that do gorgeous digital art, but she's doing everything with um, watercolors and, like, of course I'm biased because I used to draw with watercolors or paint with watercolors all the time when I was younger. Uh, obviously not as good and I have unlearned everything. I actually couldn't find out what pony this is when I saw this but I think the back tells me the name. Oh this is meant to be Blossom. Oh yeah that makes sense. That would totally make sense. When you can't see the cutie mark or the symbol, then I'm sometimes a little bit confused. Oh, cool breeze. From the Windy Wing ponies. Oh! I didn't know that this was included. Because I looked through all of them and this, this wasn't shown. Oh my goodness, this is another one of the tropical ponies. This is, um, this is Tootie Tails. Oh, I love them so much. Let's get to the next one because this is a starstruck set and these are all as you can already see from here the Saturns and the planets all themed around like stars and um, you know cosmic theme etc oh this oh my goodness this is moon jumper if you I have talked about moon jumper so often because she's the only pony missing uh, from my childhood ponies. Moon Jumper is, as you can see, one of the Windy Wing ponies and she's got a crescent moon at her uh, forehead and the cow jumping over the moon. This is, oh, this, uh, I'm, I, this is my, so far it's my favorite, like, oh my goodness. So cute. This is actually one of the um, uh, Playtime Baby Brother ponies that was never released over here. This is um, Baby Countdown, so cute. As you can see, it's got a um, rocket ship. This is one of the Color Swirl ponies. Such a gorgeous set. I think uh, she's called Love Beam. She's also got a planet. Oh, they, they are really um, like, they have these Color Swirls. Like this cosmic uh, background, like looks so good with ponies. Oh, this is, this is Ringlet. Ringlet from the Rainbow Curl ponies. And interesting how she draws the, um, the wings really with feathers lovely and they all like play around with planets that's so that's so fun glory one of the early um, unicorn ponies such a classic <gasps> night glider this is one like this is definitely a a, a grow, grail pony for me um, it's from the second set of the twice as fancies they are very expensive. Oh, I love, I love her. And 
like again like just the art style I'm I'm so in love oh this is um, it's one of the um, sparkle baby ponies or baby sparkle ponies I think it's baby North Star like not the first two North Star but the, the sparkle baby pony which is just a U uh, US exclusive set uh, in, over in Europe we had a different set and this is Nachtlicht. <laughs> yes, Nachtlicht is one of the um, German rainbow ponies. Yes, you heard correct. They were German exclusive rainbow ponies, which was a set of uh, like uh, some of the ponies uh, resembled really ponies from the other rainbow pony sets, like for example uh, Moonstone or um, also. Uh, Flutterby, for example, they look pretty similar, but they are ponies that look very different to all of the others and they are too exclusive that um, are like there aren't any ponies looking like them. That's Nachtlicht or Nightlight and there's Regentropfen and they are like, yeah, they are also great ponies because like I'm from Germany and I would really like to have those, but those are also very expensive, but at least I can have this beautiful picture. It's so cute how she's playing with, with the planet or the moon or <laughs> so cute and the last one of the postcard packs that I bought I mean she only has currently these three um, but I'm pretty sure at some point she might do do more um, but so many already the wild child uh, theme is definitely uh, has got to do with animals so these are all ponies I think that have animals uh, in some way or another as, as a topic so this one I also already have this is um, baby uh, baby stripes and baby nectar which are the baby pony and pretty pals the one with the panda Ooh, here's a sea pony and yeah I'm I'm not good with with uh, the sea ponies it could be one of the um, pearlized baby sea ponies no it just says clam it doesn't say the name but I think it's one should should probably be one of the pearlized baby sea ponies because of this um, uh, shell here in the front. Mimic, oh Mimic, and then the beautiful um, parrot. Mimic is like the Grail pony for many. Like she is, she's one of the most expensive ponies that is actually that just had a normal release you could say she was um, just released in the US so no Europe release at all but still she was actually a normal release in the second set of the twinkle eye ponies and she's like so popular uh, and I, I know she's beautiful she has a parrot and her parrot comes here oh, it's such a beautiful picture and she also looks so tropical so oops upside down I think this pony is called tall tails you, uh, it's always a little bit difficult for me when, when you can't see the cutie mark but like as she's together with the giraffe it must be tall tails from uh, from the happy tails ponies which are also a set that I have no pony of they had uh, wiggling tails when you would squish them and her symbol would be uh, giraffes so Ooh. this is no that that's not a sea pony that's actually one of the um, fancy mermaid ponies so they look different they uh, are like the teeny tiny uh, babies, but really with mermaid tails. They're just three of them, and this is the one that has the whale here. I think it's baby pearly. Um, and this is such a fun depiction. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, this is again a pony. Um, from 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 the um, playtime baby brother ponies and as he's got here with uh, with these uh, lovely frogs so I guess that's um, it must be baby leaper and baby leaper also has a very cool color scheme because he's one of the brightest green ponies from generation one ah another one from the um, from the ba playtime baby brother ponies that's baby um, waddles because he waddles around like a penguin who's got a penguin so fun and I really like you can definitely immediately see that that's a boy pony how that she she um, like draw drew this is another one of the um, actually of the, um, the happy tails because you can't really see it but as she got these bears so it must be oh, what's her name it's actually 
Mm -hmm. Not tassels, but to tossels, I think. And yeah, the, the Happy Tails ponies also had these clips around their uh, tails because it, you could squish them, the tails would, would like wiggle around and these clips were looking like squirrels and she even put the squirrel in here. Oh, that's so fun. So, oh my goodness, I have this, this huge pile of beautiful pony postcards and I my favorite are all all of those. I think my favorite is um, Moon Jumper of all of those. But I was really surprised. I didn't know there is uh, two details in there. I have to figure out where I put them because I don't want to put them just somewhere in a in a binder and never look at them. I want to hang them somewhere. So let's see what I figure out and see. She put something more. Oh my goodness! Let's just let's just uh, keep the camera here because she put. Oh, this is actually. Um, it looks like um, postcards, but I actually ordered the whole print. Also, I can see it in there. Um, but that's fun to have them also as postcards. Let's let's. Um, let's you, you have seen them, but you will also see the whole um, art print. What, what's that? She put in some stickers? Are these stickers? Yeah, these are the sticker sheets. Also with the Wild Child and Starstruck ponies. So the pictures that you directly uh, saw. And they're looking like stamps. Like, oh, that's... Thank you so much. I mean, I didn't even order that. But you put it in anyways. It's three of these uh, sticker sheets with all of those beautiful ponies. We've got Moon Jumper again, and you've got Love Beam and Mimic, and Baby Pearly, and uh, Night Glider, and as here we've got other very very small things. Let's open these up. What are these actually? <laughs> they look very 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 very. Tiny and small. What are these? Are these also stickers? Or are they tattoos? They are stickers. I was just too silly to peel them off. <laughs> oh my goodness, are they cute? Do you see how cute these little rabbits and this little... I mean, it's actually just a fur ball or something, but it's probably um, a little chicken. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. She actually does not only have like arts and, and like art prints and postcards. She, as you saw, she's got stickers. She's, she, I know she also got pins. You know, wood uh, the wood pins and enamel pins. She she's got like coasters. She she sells like I know small pouches like makeup pouches with with her prints she she even has printed fabric especially for if you want to sew like miniature like doll sized clothes or pony clothes or like um, she even sells directly the clothes in the size of like for example these um, calico critters um, or surviving families or takara ponies so if you want to dress those she's got really cute uh, clothes for, for them uh, like dresses that look a little bit like you know these tiny, uh, even a little bit like Lolita dresses because I got also all of them got like water prints etc. Really cute, I'm, I'm not into that so I would personally buy that but if you're into that and the style that she does, the clothes are really more like really like like you know woodland creatures like cottage core you could even say like really whimsical and and not 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 bright colors or anything so definitely not tropical more really like you know, I, I, I would call it cottage core. As I said, she, she, as I already uh, told you, she has got her own characters, which is a fox. I think it's got Max. There's an owl called uh, Irmgard, and um, uh, the rabbit is called Chloe. And she also often includes those characters on, you know, greeting cards or stickers and all of that. So really fun and cute stuff. I mean, you cannot buy everything. Um, 
she she even does custom ponies so she really like she doesn't do like crazy customs she often keeps the symbols just changes the eyes a little bit maybe and does like beautiful rehairs especially like with um, colors that are not typical pony often more like natural um, natural uh, blends of colors or like more dip dye you know she she, she's so like she has so many different things on her on her um, she sells so many things on her shop uh, and you know there there are even like crochet like plushes and, and other plush and like let's let's keep it going because I can already see one of the one of the main things that I um, wanted to buy off of her because from time to time she also sells her originals and they are of course a little bit more expensive um, the way she sometimes has a sales on on her um, Etsy page so definitely also look out for that and this is one of her originals I saw um, that she posted this picture on her Instagram and I immediately loved it um, because like this is one of the German princess ponies it's actually um, Princess Tiffany but with a uh, with yellow mane so I don't have that but uh, quite thought after quite rare and the funny story about this is that her sister found exactly this pony at a flea market once and um, like she she bought it for her and brought it to her and uh, as because you know it's a German princess pony they uh, decided for the name um, Hildegard so it's now her pony Hildegard and she um, like Prinzessin Hildegard, that's what she wrote on the, on the back. Thank you, Lau. Liebe Grüße, Anna. So, so sweet. And oh my god, I saw that she was selling this exact um, art um, at her Etsy shop. I was like, immediately, I want to have that. Because she also asked the question if we have ponies um, that we um, don't name after the normal pony names, because actually. German princess ponies, the German princess Tiffany is not called Princessin Hildegard, but that's what she calls her and I was like immediately remembered of my childhood pony. Um, half note, which I never called like this and I never gave her the real German name, I just called her Rock Lady. That's what I always called her, so that that's what like this pony also reminded me because sometimes you, we don't call the ponies what they really are called, right? This is like like the most beautiful watercolor painting you can imagine because she also used like glitter. So glitter, glittery silver at the damsel head and in the mane because the princess ponies has got like they have uh, glitter in her mane, so tinsel hair. I definitely have to find a very good place for this. I definitely will frame it and it needs to go somewhere where I can always see it. This is like uh, the most precious thing here of, of this whole um, haul. So happy and I thought it would be uh, smaller. I don't know, I thought it would be more like a postcard size, but it's uh, bigger. It's even a little bit bigger. So what else is in here? These are like double-sided art prints that she does or she sells. I think this one is now sold out to be honest. Um, but this is the home sweet home she called this and it shows the show stable. I found this so cute because you know the show stable, one of the G1 play sets um, is home for all of these ponies and there are so many on there. You can see there's there's Applejack, it's probably baby Applejack and there's Surprise and baby surprise and that lemon drop jumping over because I think lemon drops are known to always like be a good um, jumper over you know uh, everything this is brandy which they both actually belong to the show stable there is isn't isn't that yeah that's bow tie it's bow tie and let me check here I guess these are Baby um, Moon Dancer and Baby Glory. Yeah, and who is the blue haired pony? That actually.
actually must be the um, European Tootsie. I think so. Oh, who's, who's this? I think it's one of the rainbow ponies actually. Um, could be a Starshine for example. But I'm really confused by this crown and this um, this like cloak. I found it! Okay, it's uh, Danya. She's wearing one of the pony packs. How cute! She she. Sorry, I have to show you this. She like um, drew her with this cape and with this little um, crown crown, which is the pony royal. Um, the back just looks like carpet, you know, very cozy, home sweet home inside, uh, which is inside the show stable. And this, um, this painting here as well, so beautiful. And, ooh, I am not exactly sure if she always includes two of them or she just included the other one because this I remember also when she um, she posted this picture which is which is beautiful it's not a My Little Pony it's just a general carousel horse but look at this I mean general like this is a basic carousel horse no it's the fanciest most beautiful carousel horse ever and this beautiful unicorn in the sun I think so. Uh, which is or not right now, but which was uh, her um, like her picture on Instagram for a very long time. So cute. Thank you so much. And this is also something I did not order pin blind bag. This is also something what she does, like when you're not, like you can't decide which pins you want or which keychains, because she also got keychains or which uh, postcards. Uh, she also um, does these blind bags where she puts some together for, for like a little bit of a better deal. And if you, for example, love all of them, you just can't decide then just get one of those because, by the way, I'm not sponsored by her, just I'm a really big fan of her art and her stuff. Uh, canvas drawstring back and I think I'm gonna turn the camera around again so you can see the pins up close better so let's grab in and get one out what do we have here <gasps> this is one of the uh, Takara pony mix up with uh, mermaids that she does I think she, yes, I think she has a, a complete set of these in different colors. If you don't know what Takara ponies are, they were like when uh, My Little Pony like branched out and gave the rights to um, um, to a Japanese company. I don't remember if it's Takara, probably <laughs> the company. Um, and in the 80s and they brought out ponies that looked like this. They were sitting upright and they were more themed around uh, getting dressed, etc. This is a beautiful enamel pin of, of one, like she reimagined um, one of those ponies as mermaids. Oh, lovely paper. Isn't that cute? And it's definitely a hard enamel, so very good quality. The back, oh yeah, it's just a normal um, brushed back. And, but the cool thing is, it's actually rose gold, so the the metal is, is a rose gold. This definitely will go into my long planned pony or toy Ida bag, which I'm not really far with. I don't know. I never I never bought any pins uh, um, recently. Let's see what what else do we have in here. <gasps> ah. This is one of the foxes. It looks, it reminds me of the crystal uh, foxes from like, uh, you know, from Star Wars, from 
Last Jedi. Ah, yeah, it's 12 or 50, so um, you can definitely see how many she produced of those. So beautiful. And definitely the look uh, reminds me of, um, like, I don't know, of those Japanese foxes. I don't know what, what, what this is actually based on, um, but it is beautiful. So shiny. And here we've got. This is a really like gold, gold, the like yellow gold metal. And the last one. What do we have here? Oh, it's the other one, the rabbit. Oh, this one looks beautiful with, with stars on her fur. And the yellow looks even as, as if it would glow in the dark, but I don't think so. No, it does not glow in the dark. <laughs> but do you know what glows in the dark? The hair of the Takara pony pin actually does glow in the dark. So she sells most of her pins in variants and some are glow in the dark and some are not. So she, you can also get um, the rabbit and the fox in glow in the dark, but this is actually the Takara pony mine. So I was not far off. It was just the wrong one that I thought was glow in the dark. Thank you so much! I was already thinking about getting the, one of those because I mean I'm not a huge fan in general of the uh, Takara Pony so I would, I mean they are super rare and you can only basically only get um, uh, fakies which are also pretty expensive if you get them. I think um, she has one, a real Takara Pony because she uses this as um, for modeling her clothes but as I said, I'm not a big fan of the Takara ponies, but her pins, like combined with the mermaid, because she's, she's even got like the color scheme of Ariel with red hair and like uh, green and uh, purple. So, so I could even put that on my Disney pin eater bag. So the last thing is uh, actually the thing that you can get to support the uh, conventions and the Nachtlichtcon that she organizes, which is, yes, of course, this bag, but you also can get this bag, which I have for a really long time. I got it um, in the convention um, package. But inside, there is the art book, which she produced um, for this convention. It's a, actually a very, like, small and a square um, book and uh, lots of um, artists um, participated and uh, made art for, for this art book um, all themed around my little pony of course um, I think it's it's 21 or so different artists put put art in here of different kinds so it said like they are digital artists they are like sculptors they are people doing customs, they are photographers who participated in here. So I'm really interested um, what this actually, I mean of course it still says Nachtlichkon 2020 because that's what it was made for. Um, the convention that never happened which also is at the back and I'm really happy to have now another bag because Literally the other one I always used to go out for pony photos. I always put my ponies in there and um, This is Nachtlichtcon 2020 a German pony convention. This is actually also um, the Mascot which is a little uh, sweet little um, Nachtlicht custom that she she did um, Is this so glow in the dark? It does not glow in the dark I was freaking out. I thought it was you know, the dark at that moment, but it's actually just like an optical illusion because it's so bright against the dark um, canvas, but it's not. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I probably won't go through this uh, complete uh, with you, but let's just have a look here. It starts with all of the different um, pony artists. And Let's see how it, how it is done. Like here is a beautiful painting and it says, yeah, okay, this is probably how it is. So here's got the painting and this always then uh, says which pony it is. 
uh, which medium it was painted with or done with, so it's another painting. Um, it says the artist's name and the Instagram of the artist. That's cool. So I can check out lots of other pony artists. Actually, when you follow the um, Nachtlichtcon um, Instagram account, then you always get glimpses of these artists as well. But it's nice to have them all together in this book. Um, here you can see, this is for example, it's, it's not, not, a, not a painting or something. This is someone who sculpts uh, ponies out of, I don't know if it is clay or polymer clay. Yeah, it's polymer clay. And it says something about the artist. Hi, I'm Stephanie, also known as Pina Colada or just Pina. So you get to know the artists. Here's a custom. mixture of, of the most famous Rapunzel pony with Nachtlicht, which are like both actually pretty thought after ponies. Oh, this is cute. Oh my goodness. So obviously I don't show the whole um, art book on camera because that would be, you should buy it. <laughs> no, but so they are like photographers, artists, <gasps> yes, I have seen this uh, on Instagram. <gasps> These customs are like so special. So many great pictures of Nachtlicht. Oh, this is cute! I definitely have to give it a read. And yeah, here, here in the back, there's also a little. A little story. <laughs> it's like a, like a picture story, you know. Here is a, she sometimes also posted these pictures, like these super miniature miniatures. These were the, or are probably still the tiers of the convention um, that you could get different tickets, uh, like you know, special tickets or just the normal tickets, and you'd have Nachtlicht or Baby Nachtlicht or Teeny Tiny Baby Nachtlicht. Uh, also, by the way, this is limited to I think 75, um, so there's not many out there. And I'm happy to support the convention because, you know, if we're back to going to conventions, then I want this convention to happen. I want to have a Generation 1 themed convention in Germany. And I was so happy to like have found this convention and then was like, doop, doop, doop. Okay, here's just like, the, yeah, that's everything that I ordered. My goodness. Like, uh, by the way, what she, she wrote her little message on, this is also done by her. So these little um, pages from like a notepad or something. And um, I was like, that's quite familiar. That's, that's also her uh, artwork. Because I have once received one of those when I ordered at um, Adult Hair Emporium. And um, like, I think it was around Christmas time. So they put in those. So also the Adult Hair Emporium, if you buy a uh, pony hair from the UK, um, they use her um, like note pages so thank you for watching and I hope you like no matter if you are now gonna uh, buy something from her but I hope that still you enjoyed this beautiful pony art um, because I'm stunned by all the stuff and whenever she posts like a new Instagram post I'm always sharing it because like I'm, I'm so happy to see what she does and she focuses mainly as you can see on uh, generation one ponies but of course she sometimes she also has like g3 pony art or she she's even done art of the uh, new g5 ponies so what was your favorite of the postcards or of any of the other uh things here that would be uh, interesting to know tell me in the comments below and yeah in general just thank you for watching see you real soon and may the force be with you Bye, and thank you so much, Premium Pomos.
you, Anna Gret. Ah, you did not have to do this. Du hättest nicht so viele Extras reinschmeißen müssen hier. Oh mein Gott, wirklich nicht. Ich habe vielleicht gedacht, ein Pin oder so. Dankeschön. Tschüss. Bye, bye.